viewers would have to wait for their Dalek action. Before that would come the first story commissioned by John Wilde and Donald Tosh, an adventure set during the Trojan War called The Mythmakers. The Mythmakers I absolutely loved. We had a wonderful cast. We had Ivor Salter, Francis de Wolf. We also had as King Prime, Max Adrian. Max Adrian, one of the great actors that this country has produced. Uh, not just a great actor, but a wonderful man. For the first three episodes, it's high art. And then, in part four, everyone gets brutally massacred. It's a very enjoyable comedy where the Doctor's interplay with the DCC is something we all laugh at. That has all sorts of nice humorous edges to it, but then suddenly it all turns on, 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 a, on a razor's edge, and suddenly everybody's killed and it becomes extremely nasty. There's a strange mix um, in these stories of, of comedy and horror often almost side by side. Kids love, love to laugh and they love being frightened. You were quite happy to get the mood changes. It wasn't so much a really conscious decision. It was just that one was enjoying oneself and, and this was sort of part of the mix. The myth makers would also see the shocked departure of the doctor's companion, Vicky. No one would be more shocked than the actress who played her. We went off on our six week break and uh, when I came back, I expected to find the next four scripts waiting for me. And there weren't any scripts. The writing out of Vicky is one of the things I really regret about my time in uh, Doctor Who because it was unfortunately so badly handled. We came back from our summer break to discover that she was written out at the end of it. It was a heck of a shock to her as well. I understood that Maureen wanted to go. I really was desperate to leave. If they had offered me another contract, you know, for however many episodes, I might have been torn, because even um, 50 quid a week, which wasn't a great fortune even in those days, but it was a great fortune to me. Then we get to the first read-through, and Maureen arrives at absolutely furious, because nobody had told her. Agent had a told her, Johnny hadn't told her. And I suppose I was angry because I'd, I'd gone on holiday and I'd rather have been looking for work. He said, you know, you've written me out. I said, no, no, I mean, well, yes, I have. I thought you, you wanted to go. I never said I wanted to go. Oh, my God. <laughs> This is now deeply, deeply embarrassing. Ah, uh, yeah, so that was the end of me and Doctor Who. As this was almost John Wilde's first decision as producer, it didn't exactly get his relationship with William Hartnell off to a good start. I know Bill was furious. He really didn't want that to happen. Bill, I think, was very upset. I mean, I can remember him saying, I'm not going to have this. I got on very well with Bill, but he and Johnny fought like cat and dog whenever they met. I know he didn't like John Wilde. I know that he... Very Johnny was careful, but really it was, you know, it was all sort of, it, 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 there was an electric current between those two, always. I can remember Bill being quite, he could be quite acidic and vitriolic, and I can remember saying, that bloody man Wiles, he's done, and he was really, he really was giving it some. <laughs>